Today we're going to make a lamp out of broken skateboards. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. My friend Ben Paik from Woby Design recycles skateboards and he gave me this chunk of a whole bunch of skateboard ends pressed together. It doesn't look like much right now, but if you look, you can see the end grain has these really cool stripes of color going through it. Ben goes around to all these different skateboard shops and collects their broken boards. He then peels off the grip tape and uses a special hydraulic press that he made to compress them and glue them all together into blocks. He has a YouTube channel now called Woby Design. Check it out, I'll put a link to it in the description box below. So we clamped one of these chunks down to our drill press and started drilling a two and a half inch diameter hole right in the center of it using a special bit called a Frostner bit. I picked up a bunch of LED light bulbs from Home Depot. Now I prefer LEDs because they produce less heat and they're very energy efficient. This is the one we ended up using, but there are a lot of other options, even if you don't have a large drill bit. The size of the bit you'll need is dependent on the size of the bulb you choose to use. The type of light socket will also impact the design. Now we used a large plastic socket, but ColorCord also makes socket sets with a porcelain socket. In the past, when I've had to make really small lights, I've used a candelabra socket, but those require special bulbs. Now this plywood is really dense, and so it was pretty slow going. We had to keep plunging the drill, making sure we were clearing out all the wood shavings, and then adjusting and lifting the base plate of the drill press up so we could keep going deeper and deeper into the skateboards. It actually took us about five to 10 minutes just to drill this one hole because we kept having to clear out all the wood chips. Because the diameter of the drill bit is bigger than the collet that holds the drill bit, we were able to drill really deep without an extension to the drill bit. We then switched to a 3 8 diameter drill bit and drilled right through the center of the large hole to create a smaller hole that goes all the way through the block. This hole is going to allow us to thread the electrical cord through the block to create the lamp. We did the majority of the shaping for this project using an angle grinder and a 40 grit flap disc. Now we used a big angle grinder on this one, which helped us remove material really, really quickly. We did this all by eye and we just kind of kept trying to shape the block, but still keeping the hole in the center of the mass. Hi. While made shaping the lamp, let me tell you about Squarespace, which is the sponsor for this video. You create a beautiful and professional looking website using Squarespace's all-in-one platform. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. The thing that intrigued me about Squarespace was their really well-designed templates. Templates are super important because they give you a head start on the whole web design process. You already have the whole structure of the website laid out and looking really great, and all you have to do is just take your content, your photos, your text, and stuff like that, and plug them right in, and then the next thing you know, you have this really nice, professional-looking website. We actually use Squarespace to create the website for our podcast, the Modern Maker Podcast. We chose it for a few reasons, but first, because it's easy to use, which is really helpful when you're getting started with a new website. But it's also quite powerful, and we have aspirations of eventually selling and starting new product lines. So we wanted really powerful e-commerce capabilities that Squarespace has. Squarespace also has award-winning 24-7 customer support. So go to squarespace.com slash homemade and use the offer code homemade to get 10% off the purchase of a website or a domain. All right, back to the sanding. Once we had gotten the block down to the size that we roughly wanted, we then did the final shaping with the belt sander. The belt sander is great because we wanted a real faceted, sharp, geometric look, and you can sand flat against the surface of the belt sander and get these nice, straight facets. We then sanded it with 220 grit pads on the orbital sander before finishing it with 400 grit hand sanding. We sealed the whole thing with two coats of Minwax Wipe-On Poly. I prefer rag applying this finish. I find that when I use a brush, it comes on a little bit too thick and cloudy and doesn't show the grain as well. I really like these cloth colored electrical cord and socket sets that I get from colorcord.com. Because the wood is so colorful, we chose just a white simple cloth cord. We took off the socket, threaded the cord through the lampshade, and then connected the socket back on. These cords are really nice because they have this plastic hardware set that's quite strong and can support the weight of the lampshade. 
I love the way this project came out. Not enough of my projects have color in them, so big shout out to Ben from Woby Design for giving us this skateboard block. The facets of this design allow it to be set on one of its many sides so you could use it as a desk lamp. But I definitely prefer it hanging. If you don't have a bunch of old skateboards lying around, you could always just glue together regular scraps of plywood and make a pretty interesting block of wood as well. If you want to see what we're working on next, be sure to follow us on Instagram. And don't forget to check out squarespace.com homemade and use the offer code homemade. Check out some of our other videos and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.